To add and adjust text in your Canva video, come over to the left side, click on the button that says text. And if you have a brand set up as I do, then you can have different presets. So you can have a standard title, subtitle heading, but I'll talk about that in a different video. You can also use these templates. So if you click on one of these, it's gonna apply that particular font, color, and size, but I'm gonna delete that. And so yeah, you can pick any of those as starting points, or I'm just gonna go ahead and add a blank one. I'm gonna hit add a text box, and it defaults to a recently used text, but you can select anything you want, and they have quite literally hundreds of different fonts in here. So you can find anything you like. You can also do a search, so if you want to find Montserrat, for example, type that in, and there it is. You can click on it to apply it, or if you click this little arrow on the left side, you can change the weight of that font. So all the way from thin up to black, which will be, of course, your thickest. So that's it. That's how you apply it and then change the weight. As far as making this bigger, you can click on the dot in the corner and drag it to make it bigger. And then you can click on the text element and reposition it anywhere inside of your page. And then you can also change the size from this box right here. So you can scroll through here, find a size, click on it, or you can type in a number there, 85, for example. Next to that is the color. So if you click on that, you can change the text color. And if you have a brand set up, as I do, you can have your brand colors right here for easy access. But if you don't, you can use the swatch and you can scroll through, find any color you'd like, or you can type in a hex code right there, or even use the eyedropper to match a color from something else. So if you have a existing logo, you could find a pixel on that logo and match the words to that logo. Next is the bold and italicize that just toggles on bold and italicize, probably familiar with this from editing Word docs. Beside that is alignment. You can do left, center, right, and justified alignment. You can add lists, adding bullet points if you want, add numbers by clicking on it a second time. I'm gonna keep that off. You can change the spacing, both letter spacing by opening that up and sliding this to the right. You can go all the way up to 800 letter spacing where they're super spaced out, or you can go negative where the words are touching, the letters are touching. And then same with line spacing, if I had multiple lines, you could increase the length between those lines. Next up is effects. And this is where you can add something like shadow, lift. You can see when I add it, it adds that little haze behind it and I can increase the intensity, decrease it by sliding it to the left or turn it off by going back to none. And you can only have one effect on at a time. So you can just cycle through these, see how they look, but I'm gonna turn that off for now. And next is animation. And same thing here, you can just hover over one of these and it'll display it. So there's wipe, there's typewriter. Typewriter is my favorite one. I use the most often. Drift, tectonic. And so when you click on one, you can choose whether this happens on enter, which is the default. So that's when this, this page starts, it's gonna play it on enter. You can play it when it the page ends, so that'll be on exit, or you can have it do both. It'll play when it enters and when it leaves. And then you can change how fast that animation happens from slow on the left side to fast on the right side. And then you can change whether this typewriter effect happens one character at a time, like it would on an actual typewriter, or if it happens one word at a time, like that. And every single one of these settings is gonna have different parameters. So if I go to tectonic, instead of having the enter and exit, it just has intensity. And so everything's gonna have a little bit different settings, but they're all pretty self explanatory. And you can always click on it, see if you like it. If you don't, then you can turn them off. And to remove all of these animations, just go down to the very bottom of this animation window and click remove animation. And now it's gone. The last thing to point out with text is this thing right here, and this is gonna be the transparency of your text layer. So by default, it's 100% opaque, meaning it's fully visible. But if you click on that and you slide it to the left, you can see it becomes more and more and more invisible until reaching zero, where you can't see it at all. 
So you can play around with the opacity to get a really nice look for your text layer. If you like this video, check out this video next for the rest of the Canva video series.